Welcome back everyone and thank you for watching. This is Garchamp TV and here we are at day two of the Cancel vs. Aloha Region Rumble. So let's get the show on the road. Let's get started. No waiting. So this should this is my first battle of the evening. So let's see. So go to online competitions. Get this all synchronized right now. All ready to go. So battle. Let's see. Let's see guys. So yesterday after uh, recording some of my battles, overall I went nine and six last night. Not bad, not great. Try to see I do a little better today, hoping for that. So we are battling Miguel from Texas. I am also in Texas right now, that's cool. I've been noticing a lot of people have been running Needle King these past uh, few days. And he is quite annoying, I must mention. So, what am I gonna run? I am gonna bring my Nye High Lego. That's how I pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. I'm definitely bringing Top of Coco. Because I feel like he will bring that Cloyster or. Uh, God, I forget his name. Galissapod, I believe. But I do need an answer for the Needle King, Arcanine, and the Cartana. So I think I'm gonna bring Gyarados on this one because I see three guys weak to my Gyarados. If he brings Cartana, oh well, I effed up there. But I'm not too scared of him. He does have very frail defense, I believe. I run my Cartana with an assault vest. I'm sure if you guys saw my first uh, video of of the Kanto versus Aloha Regional Rumble. You saw my team. So, without any further ado, we are started. We are just waiting for Miguel to pick his team. And I believe he's one of those last second picking kind of guys that likes to throw you off a little bit. So, let's get started. So, how is everyone today? Myself, I am fantastic. I am just fine. Just ready to get this challenge going. You'll be hearing me tell you how to drink some water, and I apologize. I'm just parched. It's always important to stay hydrated. So, so let's get this started. So he leads with the Nido King. So, oh, that was a mistake. So we're going to throw our Stealth Rocks. Always need our stealth rocks. I just using the break focus dash. I'm not a big weather fan. I didn't want to run a weather team. But to also break uh, multi scale dragon knights if they were in as well. And I just wanted to run a different team that wasn't um, weather based. Just try something a little different. Just try something a little new. So, I think I probably, well, let's see. Hopefully it's not too bad. If he's a special attack oriented, this is no good. Probably should have started this game a little different. Let's just protect to see what he'll do if he has a T-Boat. He does have the T-Boat. So I had to switch Cartana. I think this, this battle is good as done, you could say. I really have nothing for his for his Nido King. So I think he's got a 3-0 me on this one actually. And so I've been seeing Nido King a lot. I need to bring Cartana really bad in these scenarios. Cause I, at least Cartana could deal with him. Yeah, I think it's as good as gravy to say I lost this one. 
Because we know the T-boat is uh, coming. So let, let's see. I don't think there's, I don't think there's a chance in, uh, in hell I'm out speeding. So we'll just go with the waterfall, take the loss. Yep, I'm not going to outspeed. I know my Gyarados is super slow. Ah, that's crushing. 3 0 on the very first one. This is not a good start right now. But we'll continue. Let's see what's going on. No. Yes. So, that was not a good start. <laughs> we'll keep moving forward, try to get something better going. I should have led with something else. Well, I really didn't have an answer for his, um, Nido King on this team besides Cartana, actually. Come to think of it. Okay, this is why I run my Nai Hai Le Lego. I I promise you I'm not pronouncing that right, and I do apologize. I need to find out how it's properly said. So Eric here is running the Dragonite, and that's why I bring the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Stealth Rocks to break that multi-scale. And it's also because my, my Arcanine actually knows Roar, so if there's a matchup I don't like and I bring my Arcanine, I can roll that out, bring someone else in. And they get hit with stealth rocks. So it's uh people call it cheap win condition, I like it. Don't judge me. I don't care. So huh, what else? Probably Gengar. To deal with the Alakazam and the top of Coco and Cortana this time. So let's let's get this uh, battle going. Let's see what he got for me. So he leveled his Alakazam. So he's gonna probably Mega Evolve. I wouldn't doubt it, doubt it sorry. So we just wanna get our Stealth Rocks off. Oh, I use Trick. So he's probably Choice Scarf or something. He's gonna give me a Choice Scarf or something. I got a Toxic Orb. He got a Focus Dash. Ah, oh, cool. So, you get my focus dash. I'm okay with that. That doesn't bother me. That shouldn't do too much to me. Or, well, dang, that thing is physical, apparently. So, I can't bring Gengar in. Because Gengar will, uh, get murp. <laughs> That's by his Alakazam. So we'll go with our Night Slash. It's gonna bring him down to a Sash that he got for me, of course. And uh, let's see what he's gonna hit us with. Shadow Ball. That shouldn't do too much. I got an Assault Vest on. So I'll live that. I don't think Alakazam knows any priority moves. So I should be safe. Unless he's gonna somehow protect or something. Yeah. So, excuse me. I get that Alakazam out of there. So let's see what's next. Not a bad start. Cortana gets an attack boost. So let's see what he's bringing to the fight. Dragonite. Like I said, and this is exactly why I have the Stealth Rocks up. Because not only does it break the multi-scale, but it also does more damage than, than needed. Because Dragonite could be a very big problem if he gets those Dragon Dance off. 
<laughs> I should survive. Yes. No freeze hex. That's that's always good. He probably knows extreme speed. Let's hope he doesn't. Go with my smart strike again. Okay, he doesn't. That's good. So, get the Dragonite out of there. Get out of here, Dragonite. So now I'm plus two on attack. That's been a very beneficial right now. I run the Assault Vest um, Cartana just so I can live some attacks. <laughs> like, something bad happens. I should have this game in the bag now. That Tapu Koko cannot speed me unless he's um, Choice Scarf. Because my Gengar is. That's a long story that I'm sure I uh, talked about before. I'm going to go with Leaf Blade, get a better attack off, better stab. Should KO. Yep, don't even need Gengar in this one. Kartana did all the work. So, got to win. That's always uh, helpful. Got to win. I am not complaining. Yay! So, got our first one of the evening right now. For you guys, it'll probably be morning when, I, when this uploads. I'm sorry. I'm just, my internet's not great on uploading. I apologize. Working on that. So, do I want to continue battling? Uh, yes, I do. Probably get one or two more in. See how it flows. How I flow. And then go from there. Like I said, I do apologize. I, I do the rest of the matches offline. I just keep you updated. So overall, yesterday I went 9-6. and six. Like I said, not too bad. Not great either. Want to do better. The first um, online competition I did, I didn't do too great either. I was uh, 20... Uh, 24 and 21 overall. I did 45 battles and I went 24 and 21 overall. And um, yeah, I was I was happy. It was my first one. It was the last regional where you, I don't remember the name. I don't recall. No, I, I take that back. I went 23 and 22. Sorry. And um, it was the region. It was um the competition where you win the Molalite and the Beedrillite. So, eh. But back to this. So I do apologize. So, a Porygon Z, or Porygon 2, sorry, Alakazam, Cloyster, he's definitely bringing the Garchomp. We all know that. We're not, we're not fooled. He's bringing Garchomp. So, yeah, he's going to bring Garchomp. Hmm. So, oh. It's like I always, well, should I even try to think who would he lead with? He's probably gonna he's gonna probably leave with the Alakazam, so I'm gonna do something a little different. I don't think I need But if he leave hmm That's what's so confused. I am gonna bring that. But it's like should I bring my heavy hitter for Cause I want Gyarados there. That's the team I'm gonna run, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Gengar, Gyarados, and a Cartana. So we're battling Jeff. You guys can't see I am like running my hand through my hair like crazy. It's a little hot where I'm at. Need to turn on the AC. So he led with Cloyster. That was a bad read on my part. And I'm sure he knows he could so kill me. Do I want to get a will o -Wits off on him? I will die though. Might need my Gengar. Yeah, let's switch out the Gyarados. He might Shell Smash. I don't know. Let's see what he's doing. So, get the Intimidate off. Yeah, he, so he Shell Smash. So this might be a, a GG on his part, which is terrifying. So he's gonna outspeed me no matter what. I need to just get this the Z move off, just to get some damage off in this cloister. Oh, he just sh shell smash twice. Cause he probably knows he has nothing for my Gengar or for my Gyarados. Pardon me.
So we'll get our Z move off to deal with this close to get some damage on him. So let's see. I'm hoping for a KO. I don't know. Oh, so close. Let me protect to see what he's trying to do. I know if it's an ice attack, it's going to be neutral. Yep. So... I think Gyarados, you're going to just have to take the hit for us. And he's probably that, uh... He has that ability where he's going to hit me all five times. Yeah, he is. I'm dead. Well, thanks, Gyarados. You, you did well. So this time, I'm going to send out Gengar. Should, I don't know about outspeed. I'm Choice Scarf, but he is a plus two on speed right now, so I'm not entirely sure. I'm max speed, so we shall see. And he has spent, so I am dead. This is a, a GG on his part. Oh, cursed body can't use that no more. So that that is good. At least we got that cursed body off. So he's going to probably take out his uh, Cloyster. I would assume. I don't know. He is plus two on attack. So God knows what he wants to do. Razor Shell. Oh, that's going to probably KO the hell out of me. Or not. So we get the Cloyster out of there. Thank goodness. He was wrecking us. That was a very bad read on my part, though. Damn. Guard chop. Ah. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna outspeed us with his earthquake. He's choice scarfed. I know it. Oh, not. Well, but does have the rough skin. What is he gonna do? Oh, oh, Fire Fang. Well, yeah, I'm definitely a goner on that one. <laughs> that was very easy to call. GG on uh, Jeff's part. Good game, man. Kick my butt really fast. I am off to a bad start today. That was excellent. Let, yes, nah, nah, nah. Let me take that back. Not excellent. Just doing fairly well. Like, I'm happy with a winning record. That's more than just a 1-1 one -one difference of win and loss. You know? Not eight and seven. Nine and six is better. It's a three-one differential. So it's a little better. I was shooting for at least eleven and four. Like that would have been great. But it is what it is. So right now I'm one and two. We'll keep it moving. I got one or two more in me, so we'll see how it goes. I want to at least get one more win before I cut this off too. That won't be fair to you guys or myself too. I look like a terrible battler. I'm, I'm just beginning, just trying some stuff out. After this, um, the Kanto versus Alola uh, Regional Rumble, after this is done, I'll be doing more uploads on just the battle spot, so you can see my other teams I have as well. This team is just a team I slapped together for the Regional. And, uh, I was under the impression it was literally just Kanto Pokemon and Alolan Pokemon. I didn't look at the eligibility, eligible Pokemon, and to my mistake, I messed up. I could have brought... My guard chat, my guard chop, I love dearly, as I am named after him, and a mod champ as well. I could have brought him, so but I didn't, cause I was under the impression. Well, I was like, well, he's not in the candle decks. I should have known, but it is what it is. You move forward, you keep on, keep trucking, and I already won my uh, Mega Pidgeot, I so I'm happy. It just took three battles to get one. I clearly partake more. So let's see. So he's gonna bring that silly mimic you. He's gonna bring <laughs> that. That is kind of obvious. I feel that's that's coming my way. I feel like 
He is coming. So this Cardsana, you are coming, that means. You are a defender. So that was him. He has my my Arcanine looks kind I don't know if he looks kinda of useful. I wanna use him so bad. I need to go back to what I know, so you're coming first. Ah, Cause he has two ghosts. So I probably do need to bring Gengar. Cause Gengar can hide in the top of us. That's the thing, it's like fuck. Who do sorry, I curse. It's like who do I bring for for those oh Cause I crippled myself using you as a lead. He's gonna probably wanna get the tailwind off, which I'm fine with. I gotta pick, 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 gotta pick Let's go. Sorry, Curse, I do apologize. I don't do that often. So we're battling Iggly. I have a friend named Iggy. Hmm. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's see what Iggly has for me. What does he have in store for me? So, I was right. Load the Pelipper. He's gonna, he's gonna get his drizzle off. He probably wants to get a tailwind off as well. So I'm just gonna power gem. Cause I wanna get this thing out the way. He could be a pain sometimes. So he's gonna probably scald me. Oh, nope, you guys tailwind off. So good, so I can still get my stealth rocks off. Cause I am focused dash. Yep. Oh they even kill me. Sweet. Well probably kill me next turn. So let's see. Uh, please survive, Pete. Come on. Ah, uh, dang. Sorry, the screen blacked out for a second. I do apologize. So gotta bring in Cortana. Cause Pelibur has nothing for me. Cuts one turn of um. I'm just really worried about that mimic you. That's what bothers me the most. So go with Leaf Blade. It's my most neutral stab move I have. I think everything else doesn't affect him. The Pelipper. Oh, we got speed. Wow. So Cartana with the attack boost. Let's go. And the Tailwind is gone. Nice. That was a very weird sequence, so he did bring the scissor. Oh, we got the stealth rock off on it. So, we're gonna use Sacred Sword. It's our most neutral hit we have. No stab, though. Which I'm okay with. He's gonna probably U turn, I think. Yep, he U turned. I'm gonna bamboozle out of there. So, is he life orb? That was hard. Gonna probably shadow sneak with his mimic you. I believe that's what he's gonna have with him. Oh, top of Coco. So, this should be a, a GG. But I, oh, I can't. I need to take this top of Coco out. Because my Gengar's choice scarf. I can't use, um,. What's it called? The, my poison move. I, it's not coming to me right now. But because the top of Coco's gonna outspeed me. Yeah. Thunder's 100% right now. Oh, yeah. I 
I don't know, he's a little frail. So, Gengar, please. Please, your Shadow Ball. We need your Shadow Ball. Because Sludge Bomb cannot hit the, the Scizor. So we need to use Shadow Ball. Oh, why could it fair be with the ghost? Let's see, if he, hopefully he's super frail. Yes, he's super frail. And I think we have enough to take the Scizor out. Yes. Clutch. Yeah, oh, yeah, we do. The Stealth Rock is going to hit him. Yeah, he's done. Unless he has a Bullet Punch, I don't think it's going to do too much to me. I don't think Gengar's that frail. I'll be pissed if he is. And he is. <laughs> oh, man. That was bad. Jesus. That was close. Oh, man. That burn. I am one in three right now, guys. Not great. I am hurting. I am hurting for a win. Oh. No. Yes. So, guys, this next one, if I win, I'm done for uh, recording right now. Put it up. Get ready to upload it. Like I said, you guys don't see the behind the scenes stuff I do, which is great for you guys. You know? And um, if you're interested in learning that stuff, I've been trial and error learning myself. Just shoot me a, a direct message on my Twitter account, or send me a or send me a comment on my one of my videos. And uh, you can you can follow me on Twitter at Garchamp underscore TV, or follow me on YouTube Garchamp TV. But other than that, you know that kind of sucked right now. But I'm just trying to get a win. Before I go, because I am one and three. I was like, ah, oh, first battle was like, all oh, right, that happens. Second battle was like, oh, I won. And these, oh, geez, Mega Venusaur is coming my way. I know, I know that. He has Arcanine as well. So, Gyarados, you are coming. No Gengar. We're going straight win. So, we're going to lead. We're gonna leave with Arcanine. Then Carton is coming. And Gyarados. I'm going to those three. Cause I feel he wants to leave with his Mega Venusaur or his Guard or his uh, Garchomp. I was gonna say Garchomp, but he's gonna leave with his Garchomp or his Mega Venusaur. And that god that oh I let I no my Arcanine special attacker. That Snorlax is what really scares the hell out of me though. He is so annoying. Like People like to run a stockpile variant of it. Very, very annoying. So get Arcanine in there. No Stealth Rocks this time. I usually run the Arcanine when, with the Stealth Rocks set. So there we go. So Venusaur is in there. Nice. So get his attack down. I'm assuming he's going to want to switch out. So I'm going to Will-O-Wisp whatever he brings in. Yep. He switched out. Yep, did exactly what I wanted. Oh, yeah. So now that Garchomp is not as strong as he wants to be. So, let's see. I could bring in Gyarados because he's going to... Well, he might Rock Slide. So I'm not entirely sure. I might have to keep Arcanine in. See what he does. So let's roar him out of there, actually. Let's get the guard guard chomp out of there. Oh, he went for a Z move. That's, oh, it was a ground move. Jeez, I should have went with Gyarados. Because it would have done nothing to me. This is going to definitely kill my Arcanine. My Arcanine went to Super Hell. Oh, he survived. Oh, nice. Arcanine survived that. Good job, Arcanine. He is 252 on HP. Hallelujah. And get this, this Snorlax a little weak as well, if he keeps him in. So, Will-O-Wisp, two out of his three Pokemons.
Well, Arcanine's done there. He did his job, though. I probably need him for the Venusaur. I'm not too sure. But we'll see. So... Let's see what what he has up his sleeve for us. I'm running the Sacred Sword right now on the Snorlax. Get the kill. I kind of crippled in Snorlax and Garchomp. Not entirely, but for the most part it did. So let's see. He's going to probably bring in Venusaur. Oh yeah, he did. He's going to do nothing to Venusaur. And he has a lefties on him. So let's go with Smart Strike. Let's see what it can do. Gosh, Venusaur is so tanky. It is annoying. Like look at me. Oh he has a black sludge, sorry, not a not a lefties. Not a leftovers. Venusaur is like the god of being a tank. Yes! Get that Venusaur out of here. Yes! Got him out of there, so let's keep it going. So now he brings in his Snorlax. That was clutch that the Leech Seed did nothing to me. So get the Snorlax out of there. Now we're plus two on the attack. Oh yeah, like that plus two. Like that plus two on the attack. Let's go. Bring in Gar Garchomp. Oh, I hate to do it to you, Garchomp. And we know he doesn't outspeed because he does not have a scar. Go for that stab leaf blade. Oh yeah. I'm okay. So, that was great. Poncho, good battle. Shake your hand if I can see you. But unfortunately, I don't and I can't. So, I will not. But great battle. I am dancing to the beat right now, guys. You guys clearly can't see but I am that was a great battle there well guys I think I'm gonna call I'm gonna call my recording right there that was my last battle you guys will see unfortunately this time I went uh, two and three you guys my last video saw me go four and two I did an extra battle I'm just I'm gonna wrap it up on that one just do five um, but you know guys but if you like the video Please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. You can follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is it's on the videos, as you can see. But if you don't see it for whatever odd reason, it goes by Garchamp underscore TV. And uh, until the next video, guys, take care. Have a wonderful weekend.